So we're here live at Veeam on 2015. Clint Wyckoff from Veeam Software with Jeffrey Snover from Microsoft just came out of the uh, the Nano session that we had. Had a good turnout. Yes, it did. Very so good. So we hear we're hearing a lot about Nano Server in the industry. You just had TP3 come out, you know, a few weeks back. What should we expect? When should we expect TP4? And another question that I had for you is, you know, when should we expect after GA of Nano Server and Windows Server 2016, starting to see some of these things come into you Azure? Know, I go out of my way to not answer questions about the schedule, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, we're, clearly, we're trying to get TP4 out as quickly as possible. Yeah. And then when it comes to releasing the operating system, I was just mentioning to somebody, uh, we have target dates for that. But ultimately, what we have learned is that nobody benefits by releasing the operating system too soon. So the real answer is we target certain dates and then we listen to our customers yeah. and our customers tell us when it's ready to ship. Right, it's ready when it's ready. We it's take ready the same when thing it's ready. here at, at Veeam. You know, so what's the best way, you know, you were talking about in the session, you know, getting Active Directory domain controllers and DNS and those different components integrated into Nano. Yeah. So if the customer has feedback and things that they want to, to see in Nano, what's the best way to get that to Microsoft? Yeah, so uh, in the slides I gave a particular URL, a particular email address. I think it's nanoserver at microsoft.com. Nano server at Microsoft.com. Just send mail there. I got a guy who's monitoring that goes directly to his inbox. Yeah. And he's keeping that list. Yeah, so one of the best ways to learn about uh, nano servers, you can actually go out on the web, aka.ms slash MVA, and out there on the virtual academy, there's a whole section dedicated to, to what's new in nano server. Oh, that's right. Up. Andrew did that. Yep, yep. yep. I right. watched all that stuff, so it's good. To, Those you know. emails go to Andrew. Oh, really? They do, do they? They do. <laughs> exactly. Well, we're very grateful to have you here at Vimo in 2015. Thanks a lot for coming out. We really appreciate it, Jeffrey. Yeah, it's been a great audience. It's been a great conference, and I'm uh, looking forward to the next one. Thanks so much. Hey, everybody. Clint Wyckoff, Veeam Software. Still here at uh, Vimo 2015. Here with Ben Armstrong, virtual Hello. PC guy from Microsoft. We just came out of the, uh, the What's New Hyper-V session. Right? There's so many things that you announced. But I don't even know where to begin. It is crazy. It's challenging to just talk about them all in an hour. And I didn't go in depth. I'm just like, this works, this works, here's the new, this works. Yeah. What's your favorite feature? Uh, you got to pick one of everything. What's your favorite? so hard. Um, yeah, so my number one, PowerShell Direct. That is pretty cool. It's awesome. But right now, close second is the RFS work. Really? Okay. You, saw, you saw the demos with the RFS? Yes. Yeah. The fact that we can do all these operations that used to be really long and I.O. intensive, and now not instant, really fast, <laughs> and, uh, but zero data copy. Right. Um, it's really cool. But PowerShell Direct is still the clincher. Right. The one you keep hearing about in the, in the industry the most often though is the nested virtualization. Super excited about that. I mean, especially for us and being, you know, being able to run the hypervisors in the cloud that way now our customers can take the benefit of doing replication on the Azure field, on the field back, and all that stuff. It's great yeah. news. And the, and the big thing that I've been highlighting to people is while nested virtualization is great for test and development, I have it on my laptop, I love it. Um, the real reason why we're doing this is to support it in Azure. Right. So we got a lot of technology coming out, like for instance, the hyperspace containers, where in order to let customers use that, we need to be able to sell people hosts in Azure. And so that's all we're doing. Azure is great stuff, Azure is awesome. Yep. Well, thanks a lot, Ben. It's great having you here this week. Great right. yeah. folks out there, if they wanted to get in contact with you, what's the best way? Virtual PC Guy. So on Twitter, Virtual PC Guy, Virtual PC Guy blog on the MSDN blog, and you can actually email Virtual PC Guy at Microsoft. So you are the Virtual PC Guy. I am the Virtual PC Guy. Well, it's great having you here, Ben. Thanks a lot. Yep. Good to chat.